Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, as you can tell, I'm going to rank all the shiny Pokemon from Gen 9 that were introduced. I guess it's straight into it. This is part 2 from my previous video. I guess I'll get... Oh, uh, man, I don't know where to start. Uh, uh, I guess we'll in order. So, King Crypt, why is this sad music coming up when I do this? There you go. Anyway, uh, I don't want to say the right, wrong Pokemon. I know this is the Hammer Pokemon, and the only thing that changes really is that brown part and then the hammer throughout, and maybe it's like coverlation on the hair. This is definitely, what's E tier? Yeah, let's go like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. At least it's really okay. This is D because this is really noticeable. <sighs> I'm just disappointed in this line. There's so much things it could have done. It's barely noticeable. If you could barely change, tell they changed. Now here you go. Toad's. A I like how all these pictures mostly have their eyes closed, but Toad's cool. Is a uh, 18. This is definitely an S tier. It changes a lot. This also is an S tier. That's a really good shiny. I really don't have Wooper. I'm not even going in order. They don't even have Wooper. Alright, for you guys with Polar Purses, uh, the new Wooper is definitely gonna be an A tier, and then the Cloud Sire is a B tier. And I like this, it's C tier. Kinda wish they did more with it. Taurus can go in S tier. Oh, there's the Wooper. It wasn't with its buddy. There you go. Brigatico is a C tier. I do like the purple eyes, but then when you get to the evolutions, it goes down to D tier. The reason why I say this is because the purple scarf is okay, but really, that's pretty much it. The saturation is a little bit low, I believe. This can actually pop up. This pops up. I don't know if this little pops up. I wish I could have like a comparison for you. Oops. I'm not gonna do that cursed thing. Yeah, I think the saturation color changes. But Coco also being C tier. This will also stay in C tier. I just like the purple. Okay, actually, I'm beginning. That is growing on me. But the saturation, these are just all saturated colors. And then that starter will also go there. Uh, I will hunt these eventually. But you know what? That is triggering me. That's not in order. Lechonk is an S tier. These, though, can go to D tier. I don't think Lechonk deserves an evolution. Lechonk was perfect already. These aren't the greatest shinies. Lechonk has a great pink. The Dunsparce is exactly Dunsparce. D tier. This is definitely in... Did I say A or S? And you know what? I'll say S tier. These, I don't like the Pokemon, but these shinies compared... I'm not considering the count of the Pokemon... But the shining colors really do change, and I really enjoy that. Also with Nimbit, I'm giving Nimbit an A tier. Honestly, this generation S tier is really low, so I'll put it in S tier. This bug right here is a A actually B tier. That's an A tier. This color change is really good. I really like the comparison. The ball is now golden, and it's a golden beetle. I don't think they did it on purpose, but that's really cool. Uh, this it's just wrong on gold, I guess. Graveyards at. The Grave Dog is an A tier. Oh, two, two something stone is a B tier. I think they should have kept the golden palette on the hair. I don't think they should have went darker. This is barely notable, so D tier. I really didn't like when, when I was hunting because I felt like I was doing something really not nice. And Esperanto can go in a B tier. It's really noticeable, but actually I'll put in C. The colors barely change, in my opinion. This is a B tier. You can tell the giraffe actually changes that orange. That dark orange it follows the same format as Giraffe Rig. That blue is pretty good. Oh wow, that's a lot. Did I say something that can be controversial? I like the color palette change, but it doesn't really go well. Yeah, I think I did. Wiglet's definitely nest. Like I said, S tier is low standard here. That's an S tier. That's an A tier. 
actually no action like that. So I like how they kind of went with Diglett's original shiny, but actually made it a different color. So it's not the nose, it's now full body. Yay. Oh no. Donzo, the Gonzo, whatever. This is definitely an S tier. I, I hope I can that. But I like to, like I said, S tier is like, as you can clearly see. There is a lot of Pokemon. So, actually, no, this is D tier, because I was about to say, now I'm noticing it's not really changed. What's guy? I like how. Ooh, oh my god, it's called a Whiskash. So, Donzo has a really good white and yellow, so I really enjoy that. That is loud music. Sorry. Bolton Veluza. I don't really remember how I remember its name. Is a B tier. I like the green. Pretty cool. This can go all in A tier. I really like this shiny, and I'm currently shiny hunting it off stream or on stream whenever I have an outbreak because it's a really good shiny. Okay, we need to talk negative somehow. At least this is noticeable, but I feel like they could have been done better with this. Like, change maybe the red to it, not make it black to gray on the tusk. That thing. This. These could have been different. Actually, that's more noticeable. But these could have been a little bit more noticeable. I feel like there's another way you can do it. It could have been all brown. Some of these can pretty much change color. This I can barely notice on the outlier. Uh, in the wild, not outlier. Why did I say outlier? Oops. You put all the squash bellies in F. I don't like how just the pink hair changes. It could really do better. I think that doesn't change. Maybe a little bit. I don't see really see the difference as you can clearly tell. I'm like, is there even a difference? Is that the right Pokemon? I feel like it's more white, but yeah. I think we're going into the high category. This could have been better. These both could have been better. Uh, I don't know. Is that shiny? It probably is. Um... These two are good shinies of uh, Tatsuguri, but I don't know about this one. I I, can't, I think that's the one of the original, <laughs> and either that says I'm a bad Pokemon player, or it's not really noticeable. Small live line? I feel like it's a rip of a Rosalia, in my opinion. <laughs> that was Cyrus, and now we're doing all of us. It kind of has the same concept where the olive just turns black, but I believe this is going off a black olive. Instead of a green olive. So just for that, I'll sweep uh put these all in C tier. They're pretty good. I just hate this Pokemon in general. That's a, uh better than it. I'll say that's an F. I I like the shiny, but that god Pokemon is really dragging down. This is better than F. It has a good shiny color. This is also better than F, because it's barely noticeable, and I really have to squint at my screen. But this can go all the way back to A tier. I can't wait to hunt this po these Pokemon, that Pokemon. Reverum's definitely a B tier. And, oh my gosh. Reverum's a B tier and also Reverum. I'm getting them confused now. Reverum is also a B tier. Or so well, can go up to S. I really like the blue color change, but the Pokemon's not that great. So Toddle and so Titan can go to... Oh my gosh, I, I can go die. And the Titan are both Esther. I really like this black shiny palette. It's really cool and I really do enjoy it. This is definitely a D tier. All three of these. Actually, no, that can go up to C. But that's going back. It's barely changeable and it kind of doesn't make me happy that this is barely noticeable. Okay, I'm really seeing I shouldn't put a lot in S now. Wiglet can go b down to B. I'm seeing now the competition. This also goes down to B. There you go. That's better. That looks better. So, actually, I'm changing these to B. I feel like they, they could have not done better. I don't think they could have done the shiny better. But I don't think it's S tier compared to the others. Oh, no. The wheel Pokemon. They can go in B tier. Um, I don't. Psychazar. There you go. I feel. Ah. Don't think, I think they're doing really good. It's just the Pokemon itself is now carrying it out. I try not to avoid 
But anyway, personal opinions, as you can clearly tell by the other YouTube video on these Pokemon. There's some of that tier list that's been missed. And I'll go over the Paradox Pokemon. Did I go over the Paradox Pokemon? I'll go over them. And then these Pokemon. Uh, I definitely went over these Pokemon. Ponme is a... S really changes a lot, but I don't like it. That's a better... That's an F. And these two can stay in C. I don't know why. I just... That's better, yeah. I'm like, something's not right. Bombearder, really noticeable. But actually, I really do like it. The gray and red really mix up. Cloth, go join your S tier, man. That is beautiful, shiny. Nako can go to B. Golem can, oh my gosh. Nako attack is A, and that is also right. I really like that shiny. A lot of people don't, but I really like it. The Mushroom Golem from Minecraft really does. is a really good shiny. Glimmit can go in D tier, and that can go to C tier. I like the cyan blue on this Pokemon. This Pokemon introduced, I thought it was going to be an alien, but I found out it was like a rock crystal Pokemon. And then when I saw, now I see a shiny. I don't know some of these shinies, even though I shiny hunt, because I haven't touched them. But these are really good shinies. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is a D tier. The colors barely change, and that is also a C tier. The colors change a lot. I just don't like it, in my personal opinion. The only... I don't... I, I stuttered there, sorry. Uh, I don't really like those colors on this. Fido is a C tier, even though I got a shiny and it ran away. There's no personal opinions. That is B. That really looks like a big dog. That, they did, nailed it. Maybe they could have done something different. I don't know what's lagging these down. This, these are both C tier. I'm sorry. Like, come on. I don't like it. This is F. That's F. Those are both F tier. I can barely change. I, if I saw that in the new speed of sparkles, I would not go for it. Great Tusk can easily join its A tier crew. This can join its B tier crew. This can join a C tier because it it's really not good. I don't honestly like it. That's weird to say because it changes. That can also join the C tier. I don't like the purple end. I thought it was a Zoroark doing. Oh, that's an A tier. That can join the A tier for me. That's an A tier. That's an S tier. This is a C tier. You can barely notice it. I had to squint when I was shiny hunting this. Also, this one could go in the C tier. They could have done better on the shiny. I feel like they could have put like the Hydreigon actual colors or something. No, not Hydreigon. They could have done the Hydreigon shiny. That's what I was going to say. This can join its crew in A tier. I really like the green and silver. Even though really it makes it more like a meth. Iron Bundle can also go in A. I like the gray and blue. Iron Valiant is a S tier. I really... You can see these two are my favorite. But I really like the pink with gray. I think the colors match really well. In my opinion. F tier. This is a nice, respectable A tier. Another respect. I'm not gonna say why. That's an S tier. That's an S tier. That's an A tier. All right. I don't know the Pokemon type, but the, I like the Black Leopard. I feel like this is going for the Black Leopard, and it really nails it on the head. I think that's a sloth. The red and autumn colors, because I believe this is the Autumn Guardian. I don't know what they are. It, it's a really good shiny. I'm missing one. This. I don't care. I hate it. I don't like this shiny. I don't know compared to its original, but I don't really like it. Uh, Maridon? I feel like doesn't top Coridon, so that's why I put an A tier, but it's a really good silver shiny. Don't know this fish, but I want to shine. I haven't actually catched these Pokemon, even though I have the shiny charm. I asked someone for them, because once these all come out for shinies, this can be like the Reggie's. I'm not shiny hunt them. Coridum, oh, I can't wait for this to be released. This shiny is awesome. I think that recaps everything. I'm now doubting myself if I put anything wrong. No, that Great Tusk goes in S tier. Yeah, I think that's... Fluttermane's good. It's just Rupi and Mysterious. That's why I put it there. Same here. All right, now here comes the part of the video where I would suggest some shiny changes. Definitely charge get could be changed to different colors. I don't know what you picked, but please change them. That's the one I really wanted to throw up out. 
Uh, the the pseudo legendary should be changed. It's a pseudo. I feel like it should be this icy type, like an ice type color. That would have been cool. This could have been, like I said, like a different color, different color, different color, different color for sure. Uh, different color on the body. The only complaint on I have. About fuck, what was I gonna say? This one is the hair. Uh, not the hair shiny. Which one was? Oh, this one. Oh my gosh, why did I have to get those two confused? I don't like the purple on this Pokemon. It's a dog, so I would have went for just something different color. But that's my opinion. These are all my opinions. Sorry. I think that's it. That is my finalized tier list of the Gen Nine shiny Pokemon. I uh, hopefully guys you enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the like button. Make sure you're watching this, not paying attention. If you guys want to see the final, come back to the video if you're lurk not lurking, but have this in your background. Here you go. If you guys want to fight me on stream, you gotta check it out, twitch.tv forward slash arctic. I'll put more reasoning behind it. I guess it's just a brief interview on the Gen 9 Pokemon. I can't wait to shiny hunt and what failed. Really sad about the track of deadline. I feel like they could have done better. It's one of the best Gen 9 Pokemon they've released, and it's definitely hit my tier, like my top Pokemon. Hope you guys did enjoy, and if you do want the link of this, I will put this in the YouTube link uh, description down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next video. I'll probably be a shiny montage. Peace.